also doing a good old bench day with snatch accessories today. It is so hot. I am not built for this, but the gym would be cool at least. But, uh, you know, I always try to pair my easier or my harder Olympic accessories with bench since bench is my easier power lift and I train it twice a week so it switches back and forth every time I do it between snatch and clean and jerk accessories so today is snatch uh, it's still pause week on day three so I'm gonna just do pause bench up to 70% for six shouldn't be too difficult like I haven't done pause bench in a while but I'm pretty confident in my form I just want to make sure I keep everything really slow and controlled uh, the whole way through and then um, when it comes to the rest of it I got uh, let me see if I can move this Otherwise, uh, I have, right after bench, I'm going to get into, I start with block snatch, and then I'm going to end with snatch balance, uh, because I, I like doing a full body accessory before doing a more isolated one, just so that my whole body gets warmed up, and I feel like if I did snatch balance first, I wouldn't be as full body warm. And then it would also tire me out for when I do the full body movement. But the shit keeps moving around. I'll just leave it. But otherwise, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel pretty good today. Honestly, I'm, I'm a lot better today than yesterday because I actually got enough sleep. Um, so I think the mobility and the strength is going to be there. Uh, you know, snatch bound, or block snatch. I've been dip training recently because I've been, I used to struggle a lot getting my third pull, like really as high as I could go. Um, Cause you know, like it's one thing to like get the bar to your hips, but the advanced mindset about it or movement or whatever is like, you want to make sure you're still pulling the bar up to your hips and then like you know pulling it as high up straight as you can rather than just getting it to your hips and then winging it over your head because then your hips are going to push it out and you're either going to chase it forward or gonna, you're going to overshoot it behind your head and you just won't land directly over your neck like you want to land in the bottom but it's honestly a lot of fun especially at lower weights because I'm just getting a lot more confident in them and just I can really just fucking throw myself under them at this point. I just, I just, I pull and I dive and I like, I'm, it's like a, it's, it's feeling like power cleans now. Where like, I feel like most people who's done this kind of stuff, power cleans, you just go in, you just gotta fucking do it. It's easy as shit. Uh, Cause it's the most dumbed down movement in like all of Olympic weightlifting, I feel. It's just so easy to just stand up and then catch it without using the full squat um you could say the, say the same for power snatch but you still have to have a better third pull for power snatch and you got to make sure your elbows and wrists feel good for that one because you're still catching it way overhead but uh yeah i'm just gonna do slow tempo triples today on that um i think it's gonna feel really good um, otherwise, uh, at the end, with snatch mounts, I've been doing those for a while, and, like, I just, it's just one of those snatch movements where, like, I don't think I could really trade it in for anything, you know, like, there's separate movements that, like, you know, like, I train overhead squat, and I used to train power snatch jerk, uh, but, like, when you really get the movement of pushing overhead and also falling into the squat at the same time it is just such a like you can't get that kind of feeling 
and a lot of accessories in Olympic um, without using like your full body and like you know it's it feels easy but it just it's always like that thing where like if one thing is out of place even if it's easy you can just lose it or you're, you'll fuck up your wrist or your elbows something like that but for me I used to same thing with my split jerk um, I used to when I when I would uh, push it over my head to get into the snatch position for overhead squat or a lot of it like I used to jump forward in my snatch as well I just I used to jump forward a lot and so um, mixed with training that really high third pole um, and the snatch balance uh, nobody really ever talks about it because the main idea is like push it as hard as you can don't let your elbows unlock and then you just gotta hold it and to a point yeah but you know you gotta remember your your footing the where your gravity's at for me I need like my feet to be really well set on midfoot like when you're going to dip and drive in the split jerk the same movement you're just catching in the snatch position rather than the split jerk position um, so I again I used to do this so many people still do where you'll lean forward on your toes as you jump because it's on your back and it feels way easier to just muscle it up rather than have perfect form like you would for everything else that's difficult and you know that would at least make me lean forward a lot or like it would I would push my arms way far behind my head with my upper body leaning forward it's just a big mess so you know I'm just gonna really focus on keeping my full upper body um, I have my whole torso completely sat up straight and that good squat depth. Um, I'm not really worried about the lockout or the squat. It's more just that like the moment you land and you have to go down, you got to really make sure your core is like in it to uh, stabilize and then immediately like sit in it so that you don't, you know, and again, you can get too comfortable sometimes. I know I have and you'll just do it and you, you know, you just, your core won't be braced enough to hold it. It's always in your core. Now, you can be as strong as you want, but if you don't got the core or the technique or you're not braced enough, whatever, it's just, it's not going to go. So I'm going to do a uh, pause dips on them today. So like when I, uh, when I do the little, um, dip down until before I jump into it, I'll pause just like on the pause push jerk yesterday. I think it's gonna feel really good because it's gonna make me isolate where my center of gravity's at on my midfoot. And you know, if you can do a pause dip snatch balance with good form, like I typically tell people, if you can do a snatch balance really well, um, and even better, uh, a drop snatch balance where you just fall into it with no jump, then you should definitely be able to snatch because the even though the pulling part, of course, is so much technicality, you really, the overhead comfortability is where I feel most people struggle. So, I'm here. I didn't, oh, fuck, I forgot to drink this. Wonderful. The, I, I am not getting these again next week. <laughs> There's so many chemicals. I just like fucking around and getting a new drink every now and then. But, uh, yeah, I think bench is going to just fly. I think sna block snatches are going to also fly, but just more be fun. Because when it's light and you have good form, it really is just fun. Just, like, really pumping the shit out of the third pole. And then locking out as hard as you can. And, you know, to feel as mobile as I do with my sort of frame. I have long femurs and long arms, and I'm a heavier set kind of guy. My body's really built for powerlifting. If I did, like, low bar back squat, I'd be doing 500 plus by now easy, for sure. But I love the high bar. I love using my core. I think form is everything. The better a lift looks, the better. So everything's technique. If you got technique down, the weight shouldn't be hard. As long as you're not, you know, maxing out every day, obviously. But yeah, and then snatch balance again. I think it'll just be fun. It's a new movement with the pause dip, so. Yeah, that's all I got. You'll see.
No, I thought you were going to show me the video. No, no, no. I just, okay. I have one more. This is my last drop. So. I just got home. I forgot. I was talking to my mom, so I didn't really get to record anything. But workout went fucking great. Pause bench was honestly easy, like which is what it's supposed to be. I'm going to be hitting a new PR in a couple weeks, so I want it to feel good before I do a really long training cycle. Um, And then, yes, uh, block snatch. I, I had, like, a single... Like, I didn't miss anything, but I think I had a bit of a whiff on one of my reps where I landed with it like i kind of whipped my hips into it instead of pulling straight up so i landed with the bar a little bit behind my head but you know i just did an extra rep to make it perfect and i think it went well other than that i had uh the snatch bounce at the end when it it feels i'm really glad i decided to start pausing in the dip because i didn't realize how important it was to have that really hard uh lockout drive when you're doing something like that because normally when you just get to go straight up and down without pausing you can just kind of jump with it and like not muscle it up but like it's less of a quick lockout and more of like you get it high enough to where you can comfortably like and slowly especially if i want to squat and having the pause i really had to make sure i like squeeze my butt and drop down as fast as i could and like really just held out with my shoulders and elbows and like i thought it went really really smoothly like i again same thing with like the push press but with a pause in the dip from the other day um got that just a really good squeeze and core stability was really good so you know other than that i'm you know i gotta i'm gonna go chill the fuck out i got all my shit done for today the only thing is lighting it's making me look kind of oh my god this lighting's making me look kind of Kind of massive. She's kind of. Oh, hold on. Let me hit you with the rear delt. Oh shit! I'm gonna look at that for like 15 minutes. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of all I got. So, yeah.